Hi, I'm Joe Navarro and welcome back to my channel. One of the things that I felt strongly about after I retired from the FBI was writing about toxic individuals. That ended up becoming my book, uh, Dangerous Personalities. And one of the first personalities that stood out for me, which I felt the public needed to fully understand, is the narcissist. Now, oftentimes the term is bantied about, people say, oh, he's a narcissist, or she's a narcissist, or they're narcissistic, and so forth, when maybe they mean they're egocentric, or uh, they're being selfish, or, or something else. Um, narcissism has been well studied for many, many decades. But one of the things that I found in doing research, uh, both while I was in the FBI and for my book, was that these individuals, uh, what some people refer to as the malignant uh, narcissist, have in common is a list of traits which, uh, when they're combined, uh, really makes for an individual that is highly toxic which has the ability to negatively influence others and to cause harm. Um, they are uh, oftentimes uh, in high positions. Uh, we find them um, in, uh, in many occupations uh, where they may be in politics, they may be attorneys, they may be clinicians, they may be in law enforcement. Um, they are in every walk of life, um, and you can have an individual who doesn't have a job, doesn't have a profession, but still has a narcissistic traits. And the danger of these individuals, and it is a true danger, it's not just that they're toxic, is that they victimize the people around them um, psychologically, emotionally, physically sometimes, and even uh, financially. And um, so what I wanted to do is uh, look at these uh, traits that uh, they have in common so that you too can understand what should I be looking for? What is this person uh, that I'm dealing with or going to work with or is sitting next to me or uh, even uh, is in national politics? What is it about them that I should be looking at? Now, keep in mind as I go through this list of traits that at any one time, we may have one or two of these traits depending on circumstances. But in the aggregate, when you add all these traits up, and this is consistent uh, with this individual, and this is how they consistently behave, treat others, and see the world, then you can see that uh, they are in fact toxic. Now, they may be interesting. Many of them are. They may be clever. They may be highly intelligent. They may have other gifts, but that does not take away from the fact that they are severely flawed of character and that because these traits are in essence hardwired into their life and how they do things, how they deal with people, how they um, uh, deal with life itself, that's what makes them uh, extremely dangerous. So the, the, the first trait is that these individuals have a sense of entitlement. They feel that they need to be treated specially, that uh, everything has to go their way, and that they must uh, come first before everybody else. The second trait that these individuals have is that they require excessive amounts of admiration from others. They look for admiration, they do things 
to stand out and, and be admired. And when they don't get that, they become frustrated. They have a grandiose sense of who they are and what they can achieve, even though they may not be trained for it, may not be prepared for it, and may not have the capacity to legitimately achieve these things. You may find that these individuals uh, are easy to uh, irritate and get irritated uh, easily, and they don't take uh, criticism uh, very well. The other thing that uh, they have is that they overvalue themselves and devalue others. That is probably one of the strongest traits that identifies these individuals as severely flawed of character. This incessant need to devalue others at the same time overvaluing themselves. They tend to be arrogant and haughty in behavior and in attitude, often acting indifferent to those around them. It's quite shocking to see uh, these individuals, how they can grow, go from liking you to uh, just overnight or in an instant ignoring you uh, because they have no loyalty to anyone else. They are, in essence, considered to be bullies. They're emotional bullies. They're psychological bullies. They can certainly be physical bullies. Um, and uh, they don't hesitate to, uh, for instance, steal or take advantage financially uh, uh, of others and uh, have been known to bully people into uh, making financial decisions uh, against their interests but they have a need to control others um, and they demand loyalty at all times. And when they, when they don't receive that loyalty, um, and that can just mean disagreeing with them in public, they can be very vile, they can be very vicious, and they can uh, turn on you, uh, causing you great uh, psychological harm uh, but also they can cause uh, physical harm. These individuals tend to be disinterested in you and in others, and when they are, it's superficial. They have no curiosity about uh, others. Uh, even people they're married to oftentimes uh, say that um, they, they absolutely show no curiosity in uh, their lives and what they uh, think or uh, what they want to do, uh, anything like that. They, they seemingly have no guilt feelings. They are the last person to ever apologize if, uh, if apologize at all. They don't feel obligated to apologize and they rarely say that they've done anything wrong. In fact, um, it is one of those things that jumps out at you that um, just uh, reveals what their personalities are like because these individuals see themselves as perfect. They're not very good listeners. They're not uh, very good at uh, picking up on uh, your emotional needs but they are very good at picking up on exploitable weaknesses of others. And lastly, they can be very cunning and manipulative, um, and they are constantly seeking to uh, take advantage of others and to have the greatest advantage. Now, this uh, constitutes quite a collection of traits. And in dangerous personalities, uh, you'll recognize that there are over a hundred traits to identify. Um, and this will give you greater clarity. This is just a brief nutshell of the uh, character traits that they have. I tell you this because in society, depending on where you're at, 
Um, they constitute uh, anywhere from 1% to 2% of the population, but in certain professions, they may be found in as high as 10, 15, even 20% of certain professions have a high degree of individuals with these narcissistic traits. And I assure you, many of you have worked for somebody like this. Uh, maybe you've lived with someone like this. Uh, or maybe you've been uh, led or governed by someone like this. So there you have it. Uh, first on the list, uh, individuals flawed of character, the narcissist. And uh, uh, as a reminder, and I, you'll hear this over and over uh, from me, uh, you have no social obligation ever to be victimized. Be aware, be smart. Uh, you now have some tools to identify these individuals, and, uh, and I hope this uh, helps you through your life's journey. Thank you, and uh, share this uh, with your friends and family who may benefit from it.